Hey guys, uh, today I had some, I had an idea. T today I thought I'd do some painting, uh, and so I'm going to be following a Bob Ross tutorial on how to paint. Uh, there is one problem in that he usually has a big canvas, and I was like, oh, I've got a big canvas, I might as well use it. And then uh, I found the canvas, and um, it's... Uh... So today I'm going to be doing a small version of a Bob Ross painting. Uh, now I'm not very good at painting, uh, I found these brushes, I've got some paints somewhere. I'm using this old pizza base as, a, as, as his, uh, what the thing that he holds, whatever that is. So we'll see how near I can get. Uh, I would say it's probably going to end up pretty shit. It's going to end up more, more abstract than, than realism. Right, so I've chosen a random tutorial. Uh, he seems to be mixing some paint, so I guess we'll do that first. So I tell you what, let's have him graphically run all the colors across the screen that you need to do this painting with me, and they'll come across in the same order that I have them on the palette, starting with a titanium white and working all the way around. Titanium, I think... Cat, get off. I don't even have a white. Hang on, let me go and get a white. I don't, I can't find an acrylic paint white, but this is called Chinese white. Um, uh, this'll do. That'll do, surely. While they're doing that, let's go on up here and talk a second. This is an 18 by 24 canvas. This is a double primed pre-stretched canvas, and I've covered it with a nice thin even coat of the liquid white, which makes it wet, makes it slick. It allows us to actually blend color right here on the canvas. Now then, Let's start right up in here and we'll use little little crisscross strokes. Just make little X's. And let's put in a happy little cloud, little sky. That is not working the way it's working on his. And this thalo blue is very pretty. It's bright and shiny. It's a happy color. It's a little bit. See, and that easy, that easy, you have a quick little sky. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a little water in here. So we'll just pull right across like this, very gently, and pull from the outside in. <laughs> I think I was supposed to coat the whole thing in white or something before I started, uh, but I didn't do. Maybe that's why. Not looking like his. And then, <laughs> just beat the devil out of it. Okay, load a lot of paint into the brush. Let's go up here now. And maybe there's a happy little clouds that just sort of float right around in the sky and have fun. And these are just little floaters, little happy clouds. Little floaters. That's what I'm doing. Some little floaters. And you can put as many or as few as you want. Okay, now then we'll take a clean, dry, be sure it's dry two inch brush and I'm going to just gently blend it using tiny little circular strokes, tiniest little strokes and just blend this together. Then I'm going to take some black, some Prussian blue, some Van Dyke brown. Hang on, he's got some sort of knife. Yeah, he's got some sort of <laughs> samurai blade. Hang on. Pull it out very flat and then cut across so you have a small roll of paint right out on the edge of the knife. There you go. I don't have anything like what he's got, but this will do. Now then, you have to make, you have to make an almighty decision. Where's your mountain live? I think he's gonna live, he is now, right there, right there. Maybe there's a bump there. That has not worked at all. You just sort of make a decision and, and put it in. Mountains growing. All kinds of shapes and colors. And... <laughs> there, you're restricted only by your imagination. I'm restricted by the fact that I don't have one of them swords, Bob. Not just my imagination. All right, you know that's not working at all. I'll just use a brush. This was a dry canvas. You'd be in Agony City right now. I am in Agony City because it was a dry canvas. Let's put some snow on this mountain. For that, I'll take the titanium white and pull it out 
very flat. Oh, he's got the knife back out. So let's go right here, touch, no pressure, just the weight of the knife, no pressure. You see there, let it float right down the side of that mountain. Look at there, look at there. Oh wait, I need the knife again. Oh no, there's paint on the table. Oh, I'm just making it worse. Uh, oh, that is looking awful. Oh, that works. Oh shit. Oh! Do you know what, we'll leave that for the moment because he's on something new. He's doing something else. <laughs> Let's say a little footy hill lives right here and all I'm doing is just tapping. Isn't that fantastic? Look at all the little little things it makes in there. Looks like just the tops of thousands of little trees far off in the distance. That's just grey again. Literally everything in my thing is grey. Maybe there's some little evergreens that live back here in the distance. Here, I'm just going to take and tap downward. Just some little trees. They're not all evergreens, maybe. There's all kind of trees. Just tap downward. Tap it downward. See there? Now these are a little closer, so you're beginning to see a little more detail. That's kind of working, that. That's not too bad. Now then, come straight into the canvas, push very firmly, and just cut in a happy little water line. Oh, that's what the knife's for. Making tiny little white lines. Hang on, he's going on to like, like something else now, so I need to reorganise myself. Right, I'm ready to go again. Now then, maybe, tell you what, maybe a happy little evergreen lives right there. We touch, then just the corner of the brush, begin working back and forth. Oh, this is working. This is working. Oh, I'm loving that. Okay, let's make some let's make some leaf trees. To do that, we pull the brush through the paint like so. Let's put a happy tree that lives right here. Touch and give it a little push. Just bend the bristles. See there? And then form your tree. Just like so. There it comes. Just bring all that right on together. That's just, uh, now it's just, that's awful now. Oh fuck, did I just put paint on my no Let's put some leaves on this. This is what begins bringing this painting alive. And worry about little forms here. Don't just throw them on at random. Right, sorry about that, the camera ran out of storage, but uh, here's the finished product. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that good either, but um, I'm a little bit embarrassed of myself. Uh, I don't know why I painted the sides blue either, uh, but I think I wasn't aided by the size of the canvas much. But there's, there's one last thing still to do.